Hi, I'm Jeff with Precision Replacement Parts here with Greg today. We're going to be installing a WKT 5561LC, which fits a 5566 GM pickup. It's for the big window only. It's the chrome version. If you want the black version, it's the WKT 5561LGM. On a difficulty scale, 1 to 5, 5 being the most difficult, it's about a 4. Today's auto glass standards require that you follow the AGRA standards. For more information on AGRA standards, please click the link below in the description of the video. Okay, the tools needed to install this back glass, we're going to use a hook ball tool, a locking strip insertion tool, a weather strip installation tool, our glass handler kit, safety gloves, and safety glasses. An explanation of removal of the old glass. What you'll be doing is removing the lock strip what goes into this groove. The glass will be in this groove, so we'll remove the lock strip and we'll be cutting this flange off the gasket to expose the glass to be removed. With this installation, the gasket goes onto the body first. And we're going to start with the seam at the bottom and we're going to line it up with the ribs on the back of the cab. What we're doing is we're just placing the groove into the pinch weld groove of the gasket right along the metal ridge around the perimeter of the glass. Now when you get to the corners you're going to want to spread that gasket out and it's going, to bu it's going to bunch up on you but that's okay when we get the glass and we'll be able to straighten that out later. As I'm installing this gasket, what I'm doing is I'm pushing back on itself to make sure I have enough material to go all the way around. Now that we've made it around to our seam, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this about three quarters of an inch longer than we need. Install the seam first. And then just feed the rest of the gasket back. Now we're ready for our glass. To aid in our installation, we're going to put some foaming glass cleaner on here just to lubricate the seal. All right, Jeff, if you'd bring in the glass for me, please. All we're going to do is we're going to start this corner of the glass down into the gasket and we're just going to work that gasket around the glass we're using a plastic weather strip installation tool so we aren't in the glass. We got that corner in, now we'll work ourselves away along the bottom. You want to hold out on your end just a little bit. Take a little pressure off the gasket. Perfect. Perfect. Now it's showing a little buckling in the corner, so we're just going to use our installation tool and get around the corner a little more. Try to pull that gasket out and slide the glass in. Now it's lifted up, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull it down in the place. Got the corner in. Now we'll just back the glass out a little bit and work up the side.
Okay, it's a surf side, so we'll just keep working it over. Okay, I've got my hand on the inside of the cab pushing out on the gasket. Because when you get closer to the final area, it likes to fold into the gasket and then you can't bring that lip around the edge of the glass. So I'm just following with my hand on the inside. Bring that, bring that around. to the end putting a lot of pressure on this gasket Yeah, be careful not to push too far. You have to center that glass right over your pinch weld lip. Alright, now we're going to come back and address the buckling that we have in this corner of the gasket. What we'll do now is taking the weather strip installation tool on the outside in that locking strip groove and my hand on the inside of the gasket and we're going to manipulate this gasket away from the corner that will alleviate our bunching. Work it both ways. Really reduce that and be able to work that in. Now we'll go back and reinstall our locking strip as we did earlier. All right, so first we're going to start off by spraying the gasket because we're going to have to insert our locking strip tool right by the seam. I'm going to put the locking strip through the tool and then we're going to move forward. Kind of feeding that locking strip down through the tool into the gasket because the tool just opens up the gasket to accept the locking strip. Now I've come out in this area, you see it's not locked in. We'll come back and lock those in when we're finished. These corners are very tricky because the gasket is going to want to bunch up on you. So I'm just moving the handle back and forth so it wiggles it through that corner. Just take your time. Let the tool open the gasket up. And just feed that locking strip down in the gasket. That's all you're doing. The tool opens that up. Again, another corner, so we'll just wag this 
Wiggle the handle of the filler strip tool and just continue around. Okay, we're getting close to the end of our locking strip installation. We're just going to go to the end. All right, we've completed our locking strip installation. Now we're going to finish it off by putting it together here with our cutters. We're going to make it about an eighth to a quarter inch longer. What we want to do is just put it in the gasket the rest of the way as much as we can. Force it back on itself. Make sure it's all inserted. And that's how you finish that up. Now we'll come back and address the areas where our locking strip did not fully seat. So we'll move the area there. Take our ball hook tool, work it underneath the lip of the gasket, and bring that up over the locking strip. Now I'm pushing the locking strip in with my thumb, and now I'll do this one. Same can be done with both sides of this strip. That's how it should look when it's all locked in.